Jay, we take a break from league action this weekend. Witten Albion, first of all, what do you know about our opponents? Well, we've done our homework, as any good side does, you know. Um, unbeaten at home, really strong. Uh, got a draw against Gainsborough, which is no mean feat, as we as we certainly know, because they were our nemesis last year in the FA Cup. You know, it's a tough place to go. Um, over the years, I've been there many times. And, and one thing you do have to do is work really hard to get a result down there. So that's one thing that we'll have to do. From, from minute one really it's going to be a tough tough game and in terms of the FA Cup how high is it on the priority list this season obviously we had that brilliant run in 2016 would you love to do that again obviously yeah I mean every team wants to do that and every every supporter of any, any club wants to do that they want to get as far as they can we were fortunate to get the first round proper a couple of years ago and we, we let ourselves down last year um, but like you say and I say in every interview I think always one team in the North East goes on and does really well and, and, and why can't it be us? You know, it's a difficult draw, but you know, any 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 team it's, at this stage, the competition is going to be a tough game. Um, we've just got to pro approach it right, which we will do, and um, and make sure that we go there full of confidence. And you mentioned there we went out the first hurdle last season against Gaines, but just how disappointing was that to go out? And what have you learned from that experience? Well, you've got to take your chances. It doesn't, you know, I mean, like I said, we've we've been beating a league game this year, and then. You have the opportunity to bounce back the following week, and that doesn't happen in cup competitions. You know, yes, you might get a draw, and you can bring them back here, but you know, you only get one stab at it, and, and you've got to be, at, you know, up for it. And um, from minute one, um, you know, we're not taking them lightly at all. But by all means, we've, you know, we've had we've had people there the last two games, and we've certainly got our homework with with videos that we've watched. So we know they're a tough, tough team to play, um, but they'll know that they're going to be in for a game come Saturday. And in terms of team selection, uh, is anyone maybe quite right to break into the first team? I know you're not big on making changes, but is anyone maybe forced to win the contention? Well, like I've said to you before, we've got 17, 18 top quality players here, and and every one of them thinks they should be playing, and that's that's a great you know bonus for the managers that they're all knocking on the door and they all want to play, and they're all not happy when they don't play. The day that a player wants to be on the bench or wants to be not in a 16, then, then they don't deserve to be at the football club, and we haven't got players like that. There's a good team spirit, good camaraderie, and I think that that only um, gets better when you start winning games. And, and we've been fortunate the last month that we've done that. And finally, what are your lasting memories of the MK Dons? That that entire FA Cup run, it must it must rank really high in your in your tenure during the uh, experience at the club. Well, I mean, the build up to the game was brilliant, and the, the facilities were, were out, out of this world. You know, MK Don Stadium was up there with the best that we've ever been to. But then. <laughs> 10 minutes gone and, and it, you're 3-0 down I think they've had one disallowed and I think then we've had one cleared off the line and I turned to Tommy and I said well, just get me out of here you know I, I mean I felt so sorry for the thousand odd supporters that we took because it looked as though it was just going to be a damn squib and it was going to be an embarrassment but we certainly you know Tatey scored at half time um, and, and we got a bit of a got a bit of a lift from that and then one of the best goals of the, of the FA Cup where John O's AJ's come cut in from the left and, and bent in the bottom corner um, was was fairy tale stuff really, and it was one of them where the last ten minutes we made it really difficult for them, and, and, and they were not so much hanging on, but they certainly they certainly knew we were in for a game, and, and the hospitality after the game by the chairman and the manager, you know, was was long lasting memories really, and I think they'll they put Spennymore a little bit more further on the map than it than it had been before then.